All right, welcome back everyone. We are at another new Daftarian Group listing at 55 Cetus in Irvine. Gonna do a quick walkthrough with Paul and Sam. Follow me. Paul and Sahan, aka Sam. What's welcome, up? Welcome, welcome. All right, we are in Altair, North Irvine. I, the guys like to make fun of me because I don't typically leave the coast. Yeah. So I got to get on a toll road. I, no, it's actually great. I used to live in Woodbury, one community over. I actually used to ride my bike out here and there was nothing out. It's like 10 yeah. years ago, there was nothing out here. It's, it's amazing. They first started with Orchard Hills. Then obviously, you know, they built a great high school out here. It's one of the most nationally recognized uh, high schools as far as academics. The school systems here are better than most private schools and it's public, so people love that. Um, you've got, most of the homes are, I would say, probably like 2,500 to 4,000 square feet. This one, you're in for a treat. This one's 6,600 square feet. Sam, how many bedrooms do we have? This is six total six. bedrooms here, built by Lennar. There's three levels uh, with a basement that is day lit, so very rare to find out any production home in Irvine. Uh, so really something unique uh, along the Irvine uh, kind of district let's, here. That, yeah, uh, let's this talk is, and walk. Obviously, your, your viewers, Michael, our viewers are gonna be typically used to seeing massive, you know, eight to 15,000 square foot homes that have basements. It's rare to find a basement level in a house that's sub 7,000 square feet and built by a home builder that wasn't custom. Yeah, no, I was kind of blown away when I walked in. First thing I noticed was you could see the, the lower level from the outside, you have, a, you have a separate entrance. So yeah. that down, we're gonna to get to it, but that downstairs, you know, would, could be like an in-law suite, guest casita downstairs is accessible from Absolutely. the external. Yeah, yeah we're, we're saying it could be multi-functioning, multi-purpose with the three different levels. You could have three totally different zones of people doing three separate things, sleeping, working, entertaining, all at the same time. The homeowners here, when they lived here, they've moved out, we sold them another property. Uh, they actually needed more space, believe it or not. But during COVID, they ran their whole business from the basement level, which yeah. was crazy because their office was shut down. Yeah. Um, so now it's kind of met full more of what the builder built it for. You've got a theater. Uh, well, well, I'll stop and not do spoiler alert. But let's walk through the main level here. We've got this massive, I mean, this is a- Yeah, Steve, arguably, if you spin around and yeah, catch- Yeah, six, seven person couch. Um, it's, a, it's a fantastic, great room. You know, Michael, like many of the brand new houses or newly built homes, what, do, what are we missing here that most old homes have? Don't know. Why formal, don't you tell me? Formal living room. Oh, smart. Right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, no yeah. formal living room. You give that up for this great room. You go right, you flow right out to your backyard. Nice waterfall island here with all the touches that people want these days. White quartz countertops with the waterfall edge, the nice white shaker cabinets. Obviously, this is a five-person breakfast table. You yeah. could this you could even this do a, a huge, bigger this huge is a, space. This is yeah. a big space. Huge yeah. space. Huge yeah. space. So you've got countertop seating. You've got the informal breakfast nook, and then you have a full formal dining on that side. Yeah, and you've got so you know a lot of space. I'm super jelly on the uh, on the 60-inch Wolf range here. So you got you know six burner, double griddle, two proper ovens here. Great ventilation with the pasta spout. Um, pot filler, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. The, the pot filler, sub-zero fridge, sub-zero wine fridge, and you've got your uh, speed oven here. We're rolling right into the formal dining space. The, sorry to interrupt you, but this had to be like all highly upgraded, right? This wasn't, this model was, it didn't come with like- No, no, the, the, the homeowners here- The big here, daddy range. Yeah, and, no, no, they, they upgraded all the appliances, the cabinetry, uh, a lot lighting, of the lighting. This yeah. is all restoration hardware. Yeah, yeah. Um, we, we've had the house staged since they moved out. It can be purchased furnished. Yeah, which, it, uh, it, it, it looks just like a model home. Like this, this could fool me to be the model home for the community. Exactly, and that yeah. was our goal with kind of the presentation of us making it live like this. Yeah. This is a we, cool feature. These are cool, yeah. It it's just like gives you a lot sliding, of openness. Sliding doors, and, yeah. And these homeowners added a, they, they, one of their upgrades with the hardscape was they added that whole front gate entry. Okay. So you do have privacy from the street, which is it's nice. nice. The, yeah, you have a water feature there. You have this awesome water feature here. I don't know, I wanna go bathe in that for some reason. It does, yeah, well, because today is extraordinarily hot too for April, but. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so you got loggia, very cool water feature there. 
and uh, they've got some, obviously it's lush landscaped, water feature. Um, so the community here, Altair, was really built to have some incredible amenities. So, you know, like many newer built homes, you've got big homes, not huge backyards, because they want you to go out and use the multiple parks, the entertaining spaces, the, the tennis courts, the basketball courts, the pool, um, multiple pools, bar areas, you, yeah, can, you can host parties there. That's, it's kind of part of the lifestyle package here. I was reading about the clubhouse. Do we have access to that so we could go shoot? Because I'd like to... Yeah, absolutely. Okay, yeah, we got to go sure. over there and check it out. Yeah, I mean, it feels I, like you're in a resort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Pools, tennis, you said it. I mean, it's, it's going to have everything here. Yeah, just so we don't get the viewers lost. So main grade level here, you've got a three car side by side. Well, two and one yeah. garage, not tandem like many of the homes that we have. Yeah. You've got this great room space killer kitchen chef's chef's great appliances yeah there is a main floor guest suite yep you've got a really beautifully landscaped backyard space with a covered loja yeah, kind of wraps around both sides yep yep upstairs we've got what sam we've got four bedrooms three bedrooms i'm sorry the big loft and bonus area it feels yes. like four bedrooms because there's so much space yeah up there. I'm, I'm losing count on the uh, on the casita for number six outdoor deck also supplements the living space uh, the the uh, the bonus room out there. I mean, I'll just throw it out there. Is almost as big as this whole. It is room. actually because it it's the it same the size. Right? Yeah. It's the same yeah. size as this great room. It's huge. Yeah. Yeah. So you could literally fit this couch in that space up there. Yeah. So for the three guest suites up there, one being the primary suite, you've got split closets, really nicely upgraded there, as well as the bathroom, freestanding tub. It's kind of got that look that everybody wants, that transitional look. I love that you have all these bonus spaces. Like crazy, I, I've, said this, I've said this in a couple of your videos, like in our house that we just remodeled, our favorite room is the upstairs bonus room and we have a loft. Yeah. So no one ever feels like they're encroaching other people's space. You know, if the kiddos want to watch a movie or do homework, the adults can still have another TV room. I mean, it's just got a lot of flex options in this house. Well, like you said, when we go downstairs, we're going to talk about this, but if you had older kids, if you had teens, right? You have this family room space, you have like that whole teen upstairs. Downstairs would be like a bar, billiards, and a movie theater. Yeah, yeah I mean- And a gym, yeah. and an office. Don't forget the upstairs balcony space, which I'm sure Steve's gonna be rolling into that. That is room for, with a fireplace. Cigar lounge. Yeah, you've got, you've got room for, you know, eight, 10, 15 people up there too. So yeah. there's a lot of outdoor spaces with the courtyard, the downstairs courtyard, and the upstairs balcony space, which I love. Yeah, so um, 6,600 square feet, as we say, under roof, but yeah, like air conditioned, feel, yeah. feel, feels like 10,000 because of all the extra space. The functionality, that, yeah. 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 And, and it's crazy. And good to know. For, I, for I, how I, much? Uh, we are listed right under 5 million on this one, 4998. You couldn't build this for if, this price If this today. was in Newport Coast, it'd be <laughs> three <laughs> times that. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, 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 obviously, yeah. 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 New, newer, newer, newer construction. Yeah, basement, like yeah. all these, yeah. Yeah, no view, this would probably go for you know, 10 Hidden Pass, which has an ocean view from the second floor, but that's, we're asking almost 1,800 a square foot. Your right. last video you just dropped. Yeah, yeah. This would be 1,500 a square foot yeah. in Newport Coast or Crystal Cove. Yeah, you, I mean, so. Uh, yeah, maybe pushing 2,000. With a view, Cove. it's, a, you know, yeah. over 2,000 yeah, a square yeah, foot. Yeah, yeah. So that's why a lot of people are living in these areas, because, you know, w w what do we always notice? When people are coming from outside of the coastal communities, whether it's the North Laguna, Corona Del Mar, Newport Coast, Newport, you know, Crystal Cove, they cannot believe how small of a house they get for the price, right? So one thing that I think is worth talking about because we're in the environment where it's, it's real time, it's happening, is that people are now gonna start getting priced out of certain neighborhoods. And instead of, what, what I'm hearing people tell me, is instead of going for a smaller home, they're gonna go to a different neighborhood. Yeah. And when, when we're not, I mean, forget about, I mean, we sell a lot of people, you know, we sell a lot of 20, $30 million homes, but yeah. when you're down in the two, three, four, five million range, when rates go from three and a half to five and a half or soon six, it just Bite prices- your it, it, well, Bite your tongue. I mean, it's not my fault. 6% sounds like, 6% <laughs> sounds like, 2000 and uh, it's not 2008. My fault. No. Yeah, but it's I mean, also, but it's, it's a reality. Like, what's happening? Yeah. So, so someone who you know has, let's say, four children and, and in-laws and a nanny and all this stuff, and they're just like, rates have gone up. We can't, we can't get the house we really wanted in the neighborhood that we wanted. But this is a beautiful, brand new community. Like people are going to start to move around. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, the thing, if you still want that new community, the shopping centers are all beautiful. Yeah. It's all Irvine Company. You've got everything Guard you need. gated. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the entrance to this place is beautiful. The Bougainvillea, the glass guard uh, tower. Yeah. It's crazy. The 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 the. the Amenities are really what it kind of what make the community here and Orchard Hills. Yeah, um, I think you're going to be blown away by the clubhouse. 
Let's do this. Let's go to my favorite part of the house. Let's go to the basement yeah. level and show the people what this house really kind of, where it shines. Say hand. Stop talking. <laughs> Don't say too much. <laughs> he's, remember, he, he's only allowed to say the details. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. That's why they keep me around. Yeah. yeah. He does have photographic memory. So. So you have like a chestnut colored, like what would you, maple colored flooring throughout. Um, and then, you know, still good ceiling height down here. Absolutely. Daylit, I, you've got that whole courtyard. I was just gonna say with the daylit courtyard, it doesn't really feel like you're in a subterranean no, closed not, off area. Not at all. Because again, they did like the stacking doors, which are nice. Exactly. I mean, exactly. This, is, this is a, these are expensive, expensive features. Yeah, I could be wrong. I think they're Fleetwood. They, they look like it, yeah. Um, but I don't wanna say without being 100% sure. Um, we're gonna Fleetwood go with maybe, or maybe, maybe Western, not, but yeah. you know. Yeah, they're Fleetwood-esque. Um, <laughs> so obviously we stage this as an office over here, but that could be a great gym flex space because don't forget, right by the front door, you've got a completely detached casita. And it's huge. Yeah, and it's, it's big. A, yeah, you could, that, that could be multi-use, really. Yeah, they yeah. used it as an, another office flex space. Right. Um, this bonus room down here, again, so basically this part of the house on all three levels is three separate living spaces. Right. Basement bonus space, great room upstairs, upper level bedroom, bonus room great level. Great room, yeah. Yeah, it's I mean, it's, it's like pretty three crazy. Three great rooms. Yeah, I mean, these aren't, like, our stagers were like, these aren't, I can't bring normal couches into this house. I gotta bring these extended. This, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's like an eight to 10 person sofa. Sam, why don't you sit down? Let's get a little perspective and see what it feels <laughs> and lives like. Yeah? For size. Yeah, I mean, are you, do you feel like you're clouded away? I could just, like lay back. Is that, is that cloud-esque? Very yeah. cloud-esque. Yeah. Who do yeah. we, who do we, who do we, want, who do we want to thank for the staging? Navid from Ambiance Home Staging. Absolutely. Really good care of us. Shout, shout out to Navid for bringing new furniture, stuff oh, where good. people could actually buy the house good. furnished. It's nice. That's kind of a cool thing that we do with Ambiance Home is the furniture typically is like new or new and it's real furniture. You know, some staging furniture, you sit on it, feels like it's gonna just, just fall like apart. Card, in a cardboard, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Yeah. Wayfair, like living spaces. Um, <laughs> We, we should we should get some kind of like advertising dollars out of that. Navid uh, loves no, us. Not that's from him. Oh, from living people. spaces. <laughs> yeah. No, no, that's the furniture that isn't that great. Yeah, oh, that's true. Um, they're, they're definitely not going to pay us. No. Uh, th so this is the movie theater. It's cool. You could put a double door here. Yeah, if you really want that Dolby surround sound, yeah. the acoustics, the multi-channel, you could do that here. We've obviously staged it to just kind of have these two screens, but obviously you could put a you know any kind of screen you want. Movie theater yeah. screen. Drop you could down. drop the new Samsung tiles, which we've yeah. seen in some of our clients' yeah. houses, and or I just saw a client put a 120 inch. Uh, flat panel TV. Wow. Yeah. Who made that? Uh, it was uh, Samsung. Mm. Yeah. But 20 grand? I, I don't remember. I didn't want to ask. But you know, <laughs> when I looked, when I was doing my rental on my house, because I want to put that in my media room, they were like, it was over 20 grand. I think they're sub 10 grand now. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's uh, Moore's Law, right? Yeah, I mean, it's amazing what TV prices have done. So, so back there, you have an entire suite. That was that suite that we were referencing uh, early on in, in the video. Down, you know, you have a set of staircase from up. You can um, reach that without, you know, having to go through the house, fireplace. Yeah, I mean, listen, I, mean, I, I love my parents, your in-laws. They're super great. If they were to live with me, though, I don't know. There'd be some hang time limitations, I think, <laughs> where I would probably, you know, start, you know, calling the therapist. But um, you'd go through a lot more classes. Well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the, bar, the bar would be empty. But but actually, they could kick it out here. Yeah. Get a little fresh air, natural sunlight at yeah. night. You have your fireplace. Um, I would put those like white pine fake logs in there. Mm -hmm. This I'm really vibing this whole area. This yeah. is awesome space. Yeah. You literally I mean, can't. If someone said, "Hey, I'll give you." 10 million dollars go find me a house in greater newport that isn't completely needs it like older needs a remodel that i can move to that has this much space you can't clay, you can't. clay? i'll give you clay i'll that. give you clay <laughs> 2617 clay street is a, it's close it's amazing it's close. house yeah it's close it's not it is, it's it's yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I meant more like the basement no, I space i'm just yeah. messing with you but yeah it was a little fun. dirty plug for clay too we, we, Aaron, love, clay. we love you yeah all right so what, Sam and I are gonna run because we've got to go show another property. So just to recap again, yeah. you've got six bedrooms, you've got a bonus bonus room in the upper level, you've got a basement space that could be office or gym flex space, movie theater space, communal bonus area with a bar area with a sink wet bar, downstairs guest suite, three outdoor spaces, the basement courtyard, the backyard, 
and the uh, upper level huge balcony terrace with a fireplace. All that for $4.99, let's go. Yeah, dude, are you out of your mind? All right, it's a wrap. Yeah.